Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about usage, adoption, adoption and branding. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story, but basically it was, Frederick, why is it that frameworks such as Sales.js uh, is not as adopted as Express? I've looked in my region and just as with uh, Ruby on Rails, there are other frameworks out there, but almost nobody uses them in comparisons to Rails. So the short answer is because of branding, my friend. Well, not necessarily branding, but adoption and timing. Let me explain. So something that you should be aware of is that there's a very big difference between making something that's really, really good and making something that is popular. There's a world of difference between these two things. And what's very interesting, I think, is that there are so many, I'll just say programmers and engineers of limited vision who seem to not understand the difference and to seem to never understand that the difference between these two things is the thing that dictates if something's gonna take over or if it's not. What I mean by that is basically that when you, if you think about the uh, touchpad, touchpad, let's call, about, call them that. Now, what do you think about? Well, the majority of you are going to think about the iPad because it is probably the most established touchpad that there is, like the brand is enormous. But it wasn't the first touchpad or it wasn't the first popularized pop, um, or it was the first popularized touchpad, but it wasn't the first I, first idea. I mean, Steve Jobs and Apple did not come up with this idea. Windows had a similar sort of concept a long, a long time before, but you don't remember that, you remember the iPad because it was popularized. And the same thing goes for something like ExpressJS. Now, when Node started emerging and becoming a thing, in the early days, and it still is, the native web interfaces for creating a web server in Node is a little bit limiting. I, at least I personally feel so. And I think that quite a lot of people agree. And I would say that it's not an understatement to say that the adoption that Node has seen, it owes quite a lot of this success to ExpressJS and to MP, to the package management and so forth, of course, but like there is a, like the web framework ExpressJS was the first truly successful web framework for Node. Now here's the kicker with that. Why is that, insigni why, why is that significant? Well, is this, it's significant for the same reason why games such as World of Warcraft held a complete stranglehold on the MMORPG community for years, for I would say even a decade at least. And it's the same reason why Microsoft held control over basically the entire personal computer market for years and years and years and years. Because if you're first in and, you're the, and you meet success, true strong success, what's then gonna happen is that you're going to start becoming the default. You're going to see that people, you're, you get popular. People start creating content around your product or the thing that you have created and people start learning it and they get really excited. And then at some point, a little bit later, someone's gonna go and say, hey, you know what? I think that these, t these tiny little things here could be much nicer. With, with something like Express. So I invent sales because I want to do something like Express, but a little bit different, a little bit better maybe. I want to do that. And then the only thing that, re well, not the only thing, but the, ma the main thing that is going to dictate if you're going to be successful or not is number one, is the hype of Express already dead? Like has have people started having issues or problems with like the main product, with the, with the thing that is so popular today? And the second thing I would say is going to be, have you created enough incentive to make the switch? Now, if you look at, look at Apple and you look at Microsoft, it took a long time for Apple's computers to get out under the crushing monopoly that Windows, that Microsoft had. 
for so many years. They managed it, at, they finally emerged, and now the tables are kind of switching in that space. But it took a long time. And they, that's the same phenomenon as you see with ExpressJS, it's the same phenomenon you're going to see with Rails and so forth. I guess there are, there are alternatives to something like Express. But the reason why you don't see many job postings around it is simply because there's so much content and investment into Express because it was the first truly popularized product or the first popular framework that came around. So you have so many people who already know Express and there's so much learning content, so which means that if you're searching for, if you're gonna learn new things, let's say that you're a beginner in Node.js, well, it's very, very, very likely that the first thing that you're gonna search for is how to learn this. And the first thing that someone's gonna show you is an example of how to do that in Express. So the, it kind of just continues because it's such an established brand within the community. There's nothing saying that Express is better than anything else. It's just that it is more popular, it's more established. And this has a major impact on the decisions that people make. You think, you think that programmers are these objective thinking people who just, yeah, you know what, I am, I'm gonna pick something like happy because it's a more modern take on Express because it's like and it has all these nice additions that fits well in the ecosystem. No, what they're gonna do is that, oh, I know this thing, it seems pretty simple, let's go with that. It feels secure. It's the same thing for everybody. And programs are no, are no different. It's the reason why some people vote on the same candidates or the same party every single, like over and over, even if they don't feel necessarily that, oh, they're doing a great job or something like that because it's secure it feels familiar and familiarity is a very big thing to humans so if you want this to change you basically have to do something that is very fundamental and very hard it's extremely hard and that's you can kind of just i have to just tilt my hat to apple for this part because being able to to go from being the underdog to being well being in the power position in a market is really hard. It takes a lot of time. It's much easier to be the first that makes something popular than it is to go from be as if to, to dethrone someone who has that level of dominance in the marketplace. So if you wanted to kill off Express, what you literally would have to do is to create a incentive for the people who already know this. Because remember, there are so many code bases that are using Express and you're gonna convince all of these people to say, hey, you know what, we're gonna rewrite this in your framework. Now, why would I do that? I already have more libraries, more learning materials, and I have more knowledge regarding this thing that is working for me. So what are you gonna offer me that makes the, makes the switch worth it? It's like a car salesman coming home to your house and saying, hey, you know what, buy this car. And it's three times as expensive as your as, as three times as, as expensive as, as expensive as your car. He's gonna have to have a pitch for you. If he doesn't sell it or he doesn't give you a good in the reason why you should do that, you're not gonna buy the car. It's it's with any product. It, there has to be a reason. And there is so far nothing that's things like like sales and happy and so forth. They have not proven that the that they are offering something that is so valuable that it makes it worth to switch. It's the same thing with Ruby on Rails. It's such a dominant framework and it's so well developed that most people, they don't even consider an alternative because there's like the alternatives are not as well developed or as well established. It doesn't mean that these alternatives aren't good. It's just that there, there is no, like it's, there's a market dominance. The brand is so strong and it's so, the platform is so well developed that nobody cares. I have a similar sort of situation when I've talked to people about Svelte JS versus the main uh, SBA frameworks. It's the same problem. Unless you truly create something that just knocks it, kind of knocks it out of the park, and so at least enough so that people feel that, you know what, we're going to lose out if we don't make this switch. Because if you can't get that sense of urgency from people, they're not going to move. It's always easier to stay on the thing that you know than it is to do and do something new. So doing something new has to really bring a promise of immense value for anybody to even move. So what I want you to take away from this is that the reason why you probably are not seeing all that many jobs for sales, JS as an example, is because 
there is an established framework such as Express.js that is so dominant because of that it was popularized when we were looking to solve a specific sort of problem. We were trying to solve the problem of web development in Node. The Express framework solved that problem in a very, very nice and efficient manner, which made a lot of people very excited about it. So it blows up, it becomes really, really popular. And now anybody who tries to imitate that thing are just gonna be just that, they're gonna be an imitator until they can prove that their thing is so much more valuable to the developers who already invested in Express that they're going to make the switch. And that is a very, very hard thing to do. It's almost impossible unless you make something that is so fundamentally better that people just go, wow, we really need to get this because if a lot of other people are using it and they're getting all the su success, because that's what it comes down to. Are you gonna bring me a bunch of success if I switch to your thing? If you can't prove that I'm going to see a really big return on investment from switching to your thing, I don't care. And that's usually how most of the world thinks about pretty much anything that has to do with change. Have a great day.